Hello, so light. Welcome. I hope this reading connects with you in a way that really resonates for you. This reading is a very important reading to me, very special, and I hope that it is for you as well. We're going to be connecting into the ancestral realm to connect in with your ancestors and see what messages they have for you, what gift that you're getting from them to use at this time in your life. For some of you, it could be a gift that you already have and know, and they're going to help you actualize it into the world. For some of you, it is a new gift coming in. As always, trust your intuition. Um, pick the card or cards that you feel most drawn to. We're going to get a closer look at the cards right now and also put some stones on the cards. As a trained and initiated uh, shaman, I am trained and initiated in rock medicine, and so I like to use the crystal beings, my crystal family, quite a bit. As always, you can go jump ahead to the timestamps or chapters also. So let's look at this. This is soul story number one, soul story number two, soul story number three, and soul story number four. So this ancestor message number one, which you have turtle. Soul story number two, black egg. Soul story number three, firefly. And soul story number four, golden egg. You can pause the video to get a closer look. And I have the four directions represented here, plus a gift for the ancestors. They love coffee. A lot of ancestor lineage love coffee. Different things you can gift them. But I have um, the feather is for the air element, which is in the north, which will be guiding us to the message to spirit, to my ancestors, to connect with yours. We have fire here, which the east for illumination. We have water. Uh, which is in the west and the earth which is the south and then we have the coffee as the gift I didn't have tobacco so um, you can also use sage maybe I'll put a little sage in there too a little gift of sage to the ancestors so choose the card or cards or crystals that most you feel most connected to and I'm going to do a little tune-in meditation. You can connect in with me as I attune more to the frequency of your ancestors as I'm connecting into your energetic field. Or you can skip ahead and get to the reading or readings that you feel most drawn to and that you feel have the message from your ancestors as well as the gift for you. All right, taking a conscious deep breath in, breathing in through the nose and slightly breathing out through the mouth, releasing tension, stress. Let there be a releasing to receive the messages for the highest good and the highest dimensional frequency of you. Breathing up out through the crown chakra, connecting through the soul star chakra, allow your light energy to radiate upward and outward. And as you're consciously breathing out, feel the energy come down through the center of your body beginning to stabilize on the earth plane as you connect deeper down through the soles of the feet into the earth star chakra, allowing your energy to extend and expand through the earth. And when you're ready, taking a conscious deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose, and just bring conscious awareness into your body. The next breath in, you're going to breathe in about three feet above the crown chakra and three feet behind you and begin to connect into those that have come before you. And as you're connecting to those that have come before you, you're going to feel an opening in between the shoulder blades, in through the heart chakra, connecting to the ancestral center opening for the messages that are right for you, that are the best for you, and opening to the gift of you as your past self and what you're bringing in this life, this lifetime, this dimension, as well as those that have helped you and those that have walked this earth before you. 
opening to the beneficial higher dimensional beings that guide you. Now feel your energy vary in the present. Now focus in the present, your present, that gift to you. Becoming more aware that you are someone's ancestors. You are the ancestor of those that come after you. And those future selves of you that come after this time frame, you are the ancestor they will look to. So opening up for the most beneficial, highest vibrational messages that are most aligned to you. Feel the power and empowerment in the magnificence that is you and the lineage that you carry on. And when you're ready, choose the card, cards or crystals that you feel most drawn to and most resonate with you. Hello, so light. If you chose soul story number one, you chose turtle, which is really it's land, but also sea, a sea being. So let's see what the messages are for you. What are the messages that are coming through for you? And what is the gift? You're getting the gift of determination. I'm going to put the cards out. This is what I call the guide card. It's the card you're drawn to. And if you look at a channel, this is the channeled energy that's coming in for you. The great work. Ooh, they're saying, I see you. Okay. Wow, you have some very, very powerful ancestors. Very powerful. They see you. They see what you're doing. I want you to see that turtle. Even though they say it's been a long time. Oh, energetic clearing. Mukura. This has to do with energy clearing. This has to do with stamina, strength, and determination. Malachite. A very strong stone. It has to do with the heart, heart healing, heart, the heart chakra but also transformation, usually very quick transformation. And usually it's tra transformation that you've been working on, change, transformation, a transmutation of energy is happening. The great work is you. The guides want to lift you and exalt you. They are telling me that it has been a long journey for you, a long journey on the earth. For some of you, they're saying, yes, it is the age, the years, the numbers. Some of you, it is that you've been here before as an earth angel. You have helped so many. Your ancestors are saying that you have had to wait a long time. We understand this that we have been supporting you. You have been building something brick by brick, bit by bit. The ancestors are saying, remember where you came from and remember those that have come before you. You are doing better. Now the ancestors are showing me someone that smoked a pipe and I'm also getting a lot of vegetation. So I don't know if this is an area where there is a lot of vegetation where your individual ancestors come from. Um, I'm getting a very strong tribal energy with this soul group that your ancestors worked in tribes or in groups. And some of you may be very drawn to tribes or groups or group living, or you're working with some kind of group or group energy. Um, their, your ancestors are saying you do need your own kind. You need to be with your own kind. You need to be, oh, some of, for some of you, more around nature. The message for some of you from the ancestors is the foods. To be very aware of the food. They're saying vigilant. You have to be vigilant right now with what you're doing. You're in it for the long term. It's, a, it's been a long time, but you're in it for the long term. Some of you, I heard long haul. 
And some of you are going to be moving. You're going to be going a great distance to another land, a great distance. Some of you are feeling not as connected to this land, and this work is about getting you connected to the land. Um, they're telling me to pick this up and show you the magnum opus, the great work, that you are in this process of some kind of deep change within you, and it may not be completely showing, and for some of you not showing yet on the outside or in your circumstances, or some of you the change is very small. They're asking you to be, be allow yourself to be more supported, and they're asking you to focus on three three levels, three people, three groups. Three is very important to you, whether it's body, mind, spirit, body, mind, soul. There's something about working with three. And they're saying if the three comes up in the tarot, because I will do tarot, that you're to pay attention to the message. So this gift of determination is the ability to go on and to stay focused, stay focused in what you're doing. You're bringing something forward in your life. Some of you are clearing uh, past ancestral beliefs that didn't, didn't work or weren't life enhancing or were based on trauma. So there is, with this um, ancestral group that I'm getting, there is a lot of earth-based uh, trauma. Some of you have a long history on earth with your own family, your own family lineage. Some of you have an awareness of this. I'm also being shown an affinity for the earth, for nature, for herbs, for gardening, for certain foods. Um, your guides, um, okay, hold on one sec. There's healing guides now coming in. To work with plant-based medicine and to work more with plant-based foods and you will connect into the spirit nature of that plant. So your ancestors said that you either did this before or that this is part of your lineage to work with plants and to also work with healing, uh, healing of yourself and healing of others. Uh, you bring a very calm, compassionate energy. So part of your gift that you are receiving is that gift to go on. Your ancestors are giving you the strength and the energy to go on and the determination, the focus. Your ancestors are going to be helping you focus on actually what you need to do now, what is most important for you to do now. I want you to really look at this. And your ancestors are saying you're completing a cycle. There's a, you're completing some learn, a learning lesson of some of you didn't think you could manage or you could continue or you could stick to it or stay with one thing or follow through. And you are. You're also the ancestors telling me that you are protected. There is a level of protection. You have the Hamsa, you're protected. So you're completing a cycle. There's a transition that you are in right now. So there's more to do, there's more, there's more to go. Again, they're telling me, go the distance. They're using a lot of different phrases. So this is going to appeal to different people. Go the long haul, the long way, the distance. Some of you feel like there's no shortcut, that it's taking a long time or you're having to go through this long way. But they're saying there, where there's a will, there's a way. You will find the way. We will help you. You are being helped. You just have to stick to it. And one guide coming through is saying, step by step, bit by bit. Focus on the steps that are in front of you. Focus on the steps, the individual steps. The other guide is saying, do not get ahead of yourself. You're looking too much at the big picture. You need to look at where you are right now and what needs to be done right now. They don't want you looking too far ahead is what I'm hearing because it's causing you, some of you, overwhelm. They want you to focus on what's in front of you, what you need to do, and what supports you right now. A lot of you, because turtle medicine has to do with the body, because the turtle um, and home. So there is a new home coming for you. I really want this to be. There is a new home for some of you also, the new way of living um, that you're really, really, um, what I'm being shown, I'm being shown so many images and so many pictures of this new home, and you're absolutely going to love it. And yes, it once you get there, Oh, the earth is your home. Your earth 
the earth is your home. You're going to feel more at home on earth and more at home sharing your gifts. Now, I am also being shown, I'm going to go back to this because now they're correcting me. They're saying yes, but there is a home. Home is where the heart is, where your heart is. Make your home wherever you are. But that place that you really want to live is coming. That home or that house, that new home, that new house is coming. Take care of your body. The body, The there's a grandma ancestor, very ancient. I feel like it's somebody's great-grandmother um, who cooks a lot. They're asking you to cook more or eat more home-cooked foods or more nurturing foods and not to eat on the go. This is for someone they're seeing. They, they see you eating on the go. They're showing me pictures. Some of you are in a cab or something. I don't know. Rideshare or subway or in your own car. And they really want you to connect to the sacredness of your life and your body. Connecting to the, the sacredness. So yeah, this is a lot about the sacredness of living. And so you are going to have that determination. You are going to have that. Um, it's really the will and the determination to follow through with what you're doing in your life right now. Or what you're, what you're creating. What you're focused on. Your focus and what you're creating. So you're going to find your will center coming up a lot. And um, some of you really opening to some kind of artistic will or channeling some kind of information or insight, or you're going to be getting the insight or the information for what you need to do. But I'm also hearing the food. Look at, oh my gosh, look what you got here. Thirsty earth. Now that is interesting. Again, there's a lot with this soul group about the earth, feeding and nurturing and nourishing yourself through food. Some of you aren't eating the right foods for you, so you really need to take a look. The ancestors are saying, look at your ancestral history. If something causes dis-ease or illness or inflammation or something that's not good, you can look in the history. They're saying, don't get caught up, don't. But the mother that's coming through, there's a mother, there's a grandmother, there's a great-grandmother, there's a strong lineage working with herbs and foods and nutrition. And some of you have the ability to cook or bake deep listening this is what they want deep listening this is what they want they want you to listen listen to the body listen to the messages of your ancestors from your soul so if something causes what is non-life enhancing for your body and your mind what you're taking in then do less of that or no of that. Look at that sound of spirit. Again, the listening. You're going to hear the messages in nature. It's very important for this group to be to connect in nature. Nature is really important for you. I don't know if you're not connecting in. Let's move this over here. I redid my crystal family the other day move things around because I got this beautiful pyrite from a friend of mine yeah okay you are okay heard to take one more message that you're dreaming of a new vision a new world some of you are going to start having a kundalini awakening some of you have been wondering what's going on with my life why am I having these strange feelings these symptoms what's going on you've been having a kundalini awakening because you are in this healing journey and a lot of you are getting messages in the dream time. So you've got the snake here, kundalini energy. You've got kundalini energy here. I don't know what happened to my little, okay. You've got the snake, you've got healing journey. Even some of you are healing through relationship. They want you to know that you're healing before you can go to this next level of unfolding. Now, we're going to start looking at how is this going to affect you on a 3D level, this gift of determination, this support of the ancestors. Why are they supporting you? Why are they... Okay, this is the deck that I'm hearing to use. The light seer. You are a light seer and a light seeker. A lot of you work with your hands or your hands have healing light energy. Your ancestors want to support you through this part. They've been there with you, but they want you to acknowledge them more 
and commune with nature, be with nature, be with the herbs, be with the foods. When you're taking in the foods, be aware that it is medicine for you. Look at that. The seed, this is very earthed. That ace of pentacles. Okay, let's see the message. Thank you for the honor of tuning in for you. Um, I feel a very strong connection to this soul group. I mean, I probably will with all of them to some degree, but I do feel um, a lot of you have had to develop patience a lot in your life or in this present circumstance. Oh, you got two aces. Yes, they want. Okay, you're about, you're prepared. You are having a new beginning in some direction in your life that's going to also greatly affect in a positive way you're going to have great change um, in your body and in in your mind in your mental thought so if you've been a little depressed or a lot of depressed or you've been having ascension symptoms or symptoms of awakening or kundalini opening and either not able to sleep or sleeping too much or very tired within the body that is changing you have a lot of changes that are happening on the uh, third and fourth dimensional level to bring in these changes into your everyday living. So there is something definitely happening uh, with you within the body. So that if you, a lot of you need to clear your energy, like clear, I even do this with my rings. I have a, a big uh, celestite, or, celestite or selenite uh, crystal that I put my rings on every day. I, I don't and I smudge. I don't take my bracelets off really, but because that's too much of a hassle. But my rings, and then I do then I do smudge, and some some bracelets I do. So there is something in your home or your house that needs some kind of cleansing or clearing. Look at that. This is where you are now. So there is a part of your energy field that is not yet fully come through in this dimension. And that's what you're waiting on. It's not that much longer. I mean, this is a timeless reading, but I would say for many of you, it's just a month to a few months. And whenever you're watching this video within a year, there's some complete change in your life. And for some of you, if you're watching at the time of when I upload this and publish, um, it'll be in the fall winter months of this year. So however you come to this reading, there we go. Ten of Wands. Yeah. See, you're moving. You're you're leaving something behind. You're moving on from a present way of being, and you are going to have that breakthrough, that payoff. There is a breakthrough that is coming. They want you to remember what you have inside you. You do have that gift of determination, of perseverance, of follow through. You just have to keep on on your path. Nurture your body, nurture your mind, spend more time in nature in the, in the best way that you can. Wherever you are, find nature or bring nature into your home or into your house. Um, some of you, this new direction will bring you, it's going to bring you more soulmate or soul connected relationships. Pay attention to your dreams. Your ancestors are reaching you through your dreams and they're starting to show you the changes that are coming in. And for some of you, you're starting to see the new place, the new lifestyle of where you're going to live. Look at that transit. It's very clear you're in the process of the change. 5510, so you go from that nine energy. You're ending a cycle, moving into a new cycle. And this new cycle is going to bring changes into at least two areas, main areas of your life. Immerse cancer. Yeah, it has a lot to do with a home or home, family. Saturn, that's why, okay, I'm going to go back to the, tune into the ancestors now. They're saying, that's right, that's right. Are making me feel like this is all about you building a new structure, and that's why it's taking a lot of time, and you've been releasing a lot in your life, whether it's beliefs or ideas or an approach. Some of it's you, you're changing your routine or what's important to you. You're letting go of a lot so that it's going to be easier for you to move into that portal of change, into that next level opening of change, which is going to not, it's going to happen within you, 
um, energetic within your energetic body, but also externally. So they want you to know this, that you are going to have external changes, but they can't be forced. And it is, it is a dream for you to live in a particular place or a particular way. And that is going to happen. You just have to have the determination to finish what you need to switch. The light will be switched on. These, these changes are switching on a different part of you or a different aspect of you that is very centered, is very grounded. And you can connect to this part of you by being more in nature. And the foods that you eat, I, I keep hearing home cook, cooking yourself or places that have more healthier food or nurturing food. Uh, that's in seeing food for you as medicine, that food is, is sustaining you. It's not just, you know, you, that you have to eat or you enjoy a certain food. It's that it's also a type of medicine for you. Wow, and this is where you're going to joy. So the ancestors are also telling me that you need to bring more joy into your life and you need to also connect in more to the emotions and what can you do on a physical everyday level the earth plane level, the 3D level. The, the ancestors are also saying that all dimensions, all levels are within the earth. That this idea that we're extending out of the 3D, we will have the 3D model because the 3D model is still holographic. What's going to be changing is that people will realize that the earth and all that is in it is a holographic extension of divine unfolding. That is the reality of the holographic imaging that is nothing is really ever ever solid we're keeping it solid by our thoughts by our be feelings beliefs and our common and communal reality the, the the group consciousness that that is going to be changing so you're going to feel a lot lighter and some of you might be feeling disorientated but that's going to shift you're going to start feeling a lot of clearness a lot of clarity a lot of you are going to get the ideas you need to to move forward. Your ancestors are there saying, remember what you know. Remember what you come, come from. Remember where you come from. Remember what you've learned, what you've studied. You have all those people, all those teachers within you. It doesn't matter. If it, is it a maths teacher, or a science teacher, music teacher, an art teacher? Is it an ast astrological teacher, a metaphysical teacher? You have that energy within you. And so it's about connecting in to those that have come before you and bringing that energy forward to help you yourself, those around you and those that come after you. So that you're, the determination is going to create more joy in your life by focusing more on your body, making changes around your home that make you feel better or more comfortable. For some of you, this could also be the foods and also routine for you. All right, because I love Astro Dice. They're not really resonating with that, but I'm going to just say, will you please humor me? May we use the Astro Dice? Okay, just get in the last message. Sixth house, routine, also the body. Scorpio. South node. Yeah, watch what you were doing in the past. Scorpio. So a lot of you have a, a sixth sense. You're, you're, you're intuitive about your body. Listen to your body, what your body needs, the routine, the scheduling. That is really important for you at this time on your path. All right, let me connect in. Your ancestors are saying the message for you to leave with, which I would call this soul insights mantra, but they're saying the message for you to le leave with Listen to the messages of your heart and you will be guided in the right direction. They are saying, wasn't there something here? Deep listening. They are saying they come through you, through your heart, what you feel most joy about, what you feel most fulfilled about, what you feel light about. Then you are getting guided by them. You are being guided by your ancestors. Mm. Oh, thank you.
All right, so like, thank you for connecting, and I hope this reading brings some insight, understanding, and inner peace that you are being guided, protected, and looked after. Hello, Soul Light. If you chose Soul Story number two, this is your reading. I'm cleansing a little bit before, just clearing the energy so we can dive into your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you for being here. Hmm. Wow. Okay. You've got pyrite here, pyrite cube. See what you've got here. You've got the black egg. Wow. Whew. Deep energy, potential. Things are about to speed up for you. What I'm getting by the ancestors, there's something about to speed up for you. Or have you felt the picking, the quickening? You've got aspiration here. You know, there's something you've got to activate. You've got to act on. The, 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 you have guides coming in also. You have ancestors and you have specific guides that you work with. And you've got the peacock's tail. And you've got Dream of Bananas, Sonar de Plant Plantano. Sonar de Plantano, Dream. Wow, what are you dreaming? It's a lot about abundance and wisdom. You have a mission to do. You have very specific guides and ancestors that you would have worked with. Some of you have worked with a particular teacher in some kind of capacity. Maybe they're helping you move more into a leadership position is what I'm hearing. There's something about being a leader leading others and focusing on the potential that you hold within you. Your guides are saying it is all within you. So there is something that is about to open and it's going to move you into inspired action is what I'm hearing, this aspiration. So, oh, I see, it's a timing issue. Oh my God, okay, okay. The guides are telling me that this is your time so whenever you're watching this video, this is your time. This is, you've been operating off of timing. Now, for some of you, this has been a long journey. It's been many lifetimes, other planetary, you know, existences and, and lives and experiences. And so you're moving into a time where you're going to feel very, very inspired Okay, one of your ancestors has a strong humor. Um, I'm getting smoke, smoking something. That's why they really want that. They really want that sage. Cleanse and clear the air. Uh, I am hearing from your ancestors that it's time to move on and move forward. It's time to move on. Right where you are, there's things that you need to start moving on. Now, I'm hearing from some of your ancestors, there seems to be two strong groups here. One is moving on from certain people or certain situations or pastimes. They said certain things are just that you've outgrown, that you might be holding on to it. And for some of you, the other things are you need to, you're going to be moving on from something in your life, either a way of being. For some of you, it is a, some of you, it's a career. It's what you're doing. They're telling me what you're doing with your life. You're moving on from what you're doing with your life. Now, you're also going to be connecting more to your own inner truth, your own understanding of your life. And as you're speaking this truth, you're meant to inspire others. Um, the ancestors saying you have the gift of communication. You have, have the gift of inspiring and helping others to aspire to live better. The, your ancestors are saying you came here to empower to assist others, to inspire and help others aspire to a better way of living. You are also moving into a phase of a better way of living. So there is a new way of living that is coming for you. And this is very, wow, I just heard this movement. Okay, did you feel that? My, did you see that? This movement. 
Yeah, they're saying it's time for you to move forward. Prepare to move. They're saying prepare to move. Prepare to move forward. Um, the time of you being stuck is no more. Things are moving forward. So you're going to be speaking more. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Wow, look at this. Hold on, hold on. Soul story number two. Hold on. One of the cards fell, but one of them that came up was a word I was about to say stories it's time for you to speak and share your stories share your gifts some of you are going to be writing now some of you this could be video again the ancestors are they're not you know they don't say oh you need to do a video you need you know they're saying you need to tell your story you need to wake up and share your story now your story could be what you've learned your story could be your approach to something your story is your authentic way of living so your ancestors are saying you are changing the story in the lineage. You are changing the story. You're, some of you it's through children or through teaching. So it, it, you're changing the story of what was possible. Now, soul story number one got this also, thirsty earth, because you're feeding the earth, feeding your body, but also the, the changing the story now, they're also telling me you've got internal strength. You've got a lot of strength already. You've got a lot of strength, determination. But now it's time to take what you've learned and what you know and put it out there in the world. Twilight shadow. A lot of you are getting messages at night. The ancestors are saying, we're coming to you between 2 and 3, and some of you between 4, 5, and maybe 6 a.m. The ancestors are saying when you feel restless, you're feeling restless, we're trying to reach you. We're trying to guide you. We're trying to open. Okay, they're trying to open you up more. Let me. Can you give me clarity on that? We're trying to open you more. Okay, light your fire. We're trying to open you more to more possibilities. Some of you, the ancestors are saying you are afraid to speak up or speak your truth. You're afraid to, or you don't think it matters, but your truth does matter. Your ancestors want you to know that your truth matters. Your ancestors are saying your opinion matters. How you see things matters. Your ancestors are saying with the family lineage, do not get caught up in the drama. Um, they're telling me the two-facedness. Do not get caught up in the drama. You have a lot to do and a lot to share. And that's going to pull you off. If you focus on the drama or what you don't have, if you focus on what it is that you want but you don't have yet, then that's going to hold you back. I'm going to take one more ancestral card. It's very interesting because with this soul group, I was definitely getting, I was hearing a lot of singing and I was seeing, I heard something about Zuna or Zuma, uh, could be even New Zealand, Australia, Hawaii, um, Maori, Maori, um, Polynesia, Africa. Um, these are some of the energies I was picking up on, sacred beginnings. I'm hearing Tallulah. Who's Tallulah? To follow your truth. It's time for you to be more transparent, dreaming. Now, soul story number one got dreaming and also one of these thirsty earths. So if you feel any connection, maybe there's some messages there. Okay, let me see. They see you. I see you. You're being seen. Your ancestors are saying we're giving you the ability to be more mobile, to do more in your life, and to carry the messages, the sacred messages that you hold in your heart and that you hold in the very vibrational frequency of you. You have messages to release. I'm hearing to release into the world, relieve. This is going to help relieve. It's going to give you relief once you put these messages out into the world. Your ancestors are saying it's time not to hide your beliefs or what you believe and to come from this truth and live from this truth. You are going to be revealing more of yourself and your truth. The ancestors are saying that we are supporting you in this gift 
of yourself, of your life, of your wisdom. You have the gift to help, to uplift, to inspire, to create. Some of you, it's some kind of inspiration, and others of you, it is the ability to inspire others or help others. And you're being asked to move more in that direction. Your ancestors are saying you're breaking out of this mold. There's this mold that you've been in, this form. Your energy has been f put in this form, and you're breaking free. Oh, I'm being really guided to look at this. This is about breaking free. You're breaking free from the, from the dream. And you're going to live the true reality. You've been living a dream. Some of you have felt it's a nightmare. But it's a dream. Part of it's been a dream of your own creation. Part of it has been a, the dream that you bought into. You're freeing yourself up. Okay, hold on. You're freeing yourself up. You're freeing yourself up from what was never really you. Did I say Tonka, Tonlin, Tanya, Tonlin, Tonka, Tonglin? There's some kind of, they're saying for you to speak, to move, to use your voice and also to clear the energy field of your voice and the, Tonglin, something about Tonglin. Tonglin, Tonglin therapy, singing. It could be chanting, singing, they said whistling, but you need to use your voice. You're, you're clearing the, clearing the air, clear the air with someone. You're clearing the voice, the passages. I don't know what that, who that's for, but that someone's coming through saying you need to, uh, a lot of you need to work on the, the voice, the fifth, the fifth chakra. You're going to be given a gift of the ability to see things more clearly and speak your truth. They want you speaking. They want you sharing. This is a lot of prod. Okay, this is a lot of cards. Do I take all of these? No. I think your guides are very... Okay, hold on. Let me go back in. Let me make sure. Am I hearing this right? Okay. Ooh, wow. Okay. Stop looking to others to guide you. And start focusing on your inner guidance of your very own higher self, your intuition. They're saying, even with this reading, they're like, it's good to get the guidance. It's good to get the input. But you have to start integrating or your own input. Or you're getting a lot of, oh, okay, I'm hearing now. They didn't want it coming from these cards. Okay. A lot of you are doing a lot of readings, but you're not acting on the messages. And they're saying a lot of the readers you're going to, and I'm sure they're including me, I hope, uh, are accurate. And But you're not following through. You're not having the aspiration to follow through. Okay, they want me to go to something else. There is a block, okay? And they want you to take care. They said you were going to help you release this block so that you can follow through on what you aspire to do. A lot of you have a lot of ideas, but you're not acting upon that. And they're going to help you. The guides are saying, okay, the ancestors are saying, we're here to help you. You have to ask for the help or create a time, a sacred time where we can come in, where we can help you, where we can assist you. Just ask for our help. And this is going to create that new beginning for you. So create the time, take the time to create the space to ask for our help. Let's see, what is the block? Okay, so you're not, at, so you need to start acting upon the messages. A lot of you get very inspired by the readings. And then, okay, you've got grateful on the bottom. A lot of you are getting good messages. I'm gonna say some of you, but it's, you know, I, I'm hearing, I don't wanna to toot my own horn, but they are saying from even my readings. But the next thing is you've gotta act upon them. You've got to move into the inspired action. You've got to move into the aspiration. They're going to help you. Safe, secure, sheltered, protected. Okay, a lot of you have to trust spirit more in the guidance, stress. Because you're not 
you're afraid to do too much because you don't want to upset something, someone, some situation, some relationship, some job, some career choice or how you live. Self-conscious, awkward and exposed. But remember that you're going to be more transparent. Your ancestors are going to give you the energy and the gift to feel more safe within your body. But by what you speak, by what you put out there in your world, your projects, your art, you're going to become more transparent. You're going to be exposing more of you. See, some of you aren't exposing enough, aren't exposing all of you. Now, your ancestors are saying, look, it's not just about, it's not about exposing your body. It's not about, uh, let me get this clearer message. It's not about exposing your body. They're saying it's not about having to reveal everything, but there's a fuller exposure of what you do or what you believe or what you are or how you are. Because that exposure, it could be your story. For some of you, it's your story. But some of you, that exposure is about you revealing more of yourself, more of your truth, whether it's individually to friends or family or your significant other I'm being shown, or some of you it's in a teaching capacity or at school or at work. Or there's a, You need to be more you and to speak and live more of your truth. The ancestors want you to know that they're very grateful for the work that you've done, that you've undertaken. And they're very grateful. Uh, for some of you, you've done a lot of um, inner work. You've done a lot of healing. You've really, some of you, it's been some kind of forgiveness process or exercise. And they want you to know that you're safe. Your ancestors want you to know that you're safe, but they want you to let off steam your ancestors are saying some things that you don't like or don't agree with, but you've been afraid to say, I don't like that or I don't want to do this. Your ancestors are saying part of your truth is the ability to say no. Part of your truth is saying no. One of your ancestors is laughing and he's saying, I am able to say no. I say no. And this person, this may be a particular ancestor within your family lineage for someone that it was a little gruff, but would, would be very comfortable just saying, no, I don't want to do that or not going. And like if everybody, even if every, if a whole family or everybody or friends wanted to eat a particular food or go to a certain restaurant and he didn't want to, he would just say, no, I'm not going to go, or I'm not, I'm going to sit this one out. I can hear him. I'm going to sit this one out. So, some people thought that he was selfish, but your ancestors are saying you need to develop this more. Look at this, Capricorn, to achieve what you want. Okay, let me get these cards out. Woo, you feel that energy going now? I knew this card was going to come out. I saw this earlier. Oh, I saw it in another deck. That's Scorpio energy and Mercury. Yeah, some of you feel like, oh, I'm a, I can cut off or I say things too quickly. Some of you kind of have a sharp tongue, a little Scorpio sting, but they're saying that's okay. You have to accept yourself. The, your ancestors are coming in very lovingly wanting you to accept yourself. And that's going to bring you, oh, you've been worried about money, the ancestors are saying. It's going to bring you the money you want. Pluto, rebirth. Okay. That's why the pyrite. Be grateful for what you have, but be open to more abundance. So you need to get out there more, whatever that is. You need to express more of yourself, how you do things, how you see things, how you feel things. Write those stories. You are a communicator. You've got Mercury here and you've got resources. You've got Mercury, you've got resources. A lot of you, this could be doing more um, work. Your ancestors are saying that has to do with esoteric wisdom, the occult, Again, this could be tarot, this could be astrology, this could be anything. This could be psychology, transpersonal psychology, hypnotherapy, getting to the bottom of things, getting into why you do certain things or why people are blocked or do, do, this is going to help people. You have a lot to achieve in the third dimensional reality of the money, money, finance, money, reciprocation, and, and even going to a next level to buy your house is what I'm hearing or a bigger house. 
Um, you are a communicator and you're spot on. Okay, let me see where. By living your truth, speaking your truth, as you see it, some of you may be on YouTube also. Your guides are saying, <laughs> there's only one. Some of you work with a group of guides. Some of you are already aware of your guides or your ancestors. Some of you, I'm getting a lot here. There's ancestor realm. There's the angelic realm. There's, you're very open. A lot of you are very open. But also some of you have this gift of seeing. And I, it could have been with other people in your family also have this gift of being a seer or being highly intuitive or psychic. A lot of you also have the gift of healing. You have some kind of healing ability. I'm being shown the hands. So your ancestors are saying they want you to focus more on your gifts, your unique gifts, and use those. Use those gifts. You see yourself and your gifts, your God-given gifts, as the resource in your life. It's going to change your life. Your, your life is about to change, okay? There's a big change coming in your life. And it's going to, you're going to have much more, whoops, abundance. But you have to, um, oh yeah, you're, there we go. Perception, I love this reading. Oh my gosh, you're on your path to destiny. You're meeting your destiny. You're changing your perception about your life. Some of you are rebirthing, you're rebranding, you're redoing, and you're going to be much more in alignment with your soul and the ancestors that have come before you that are supporting you, whether family, familial ancestors, ancestral lineage through a culture or a cultura, or through teachers that you've studied with. You have something to pass on. You have, gosh, we haven't even gotten to the tarot yet. Okay, let me go. Okay, they're saying this, boy. This group, you're very guided. They're, I'm telling you, they're guiding my reading. Oh no, we don't want these cards now. We want this card, we want this deck. So maybe you're a bit like that and you have to trust yourself more because your ancestors are very strong. There we got seven of pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about your work. An Ace of Wands, a new direction. If you are getting this reading, again, this is a timeless reading, but this these messages, if you're watching this reading when I'm uploading it originally, and then you have big changes coming up in in the in not the fall. Well, the fall and also I'm hearing March. Fall is the seven of pentacles. And we've got the two of pentacles. Yeah, there's change. You're going in a new direction. There, there's a crossroads. There's a new direction, and it's bringing in abundance. Some of you, this may be something you're doing on your own, some kind of business. So your ancestors are saying there is a lineage that you have. You came here to do this. Some of you, you came down here to do this. Those of you that also have starseed roots in your lineage, uh, you came down here to do this and you're being supported so they want you to prepare for the big change that is coming in so you need to follow the aspiration follow the feeling of what it is you feel connected to you're going to be given this gift a lot of you kind of lost your mojo a little bit maybe because you had to rebrand or rebirth or you've gone through a lot of change they're saying you're going to start feeling inspir inspired the inspiration the aspiration you're going to start getting the motivation to do what you need to do. You're going to be breaking free from constraints. Okay, that is the message for you. Let's go into, let me get these shorter. Wow, you got, there's a lot of messages coming in for you, Soul Story number two. There are a lot of messages coming in. Your ancestors are saying you're going to be so happy you are going to be so happy coming up in the future and you're going to be so grateful for everything that you went through because it brought you to where you are now. Jupiter, what a message, right? There we go, Jupiter. Oh, I love this, look at this. Ju wow, this is Jupiter, can you see this? 
I hope you can. I don't have my camera light on. Jupiter in Aries in the fifth house. Told you projects. Now, yes, some of you, this could be dating. This is soulmates. This is collaborative relationships. But this is more fulfillment, more fun. This is your projects taking off. Those of you that are project-based, your ancestors want you to know you're here to inspire and follow your aspiration. And you're going to get the motivation, the energy for what you aspire to do. You're going to be able to complete these things because it is a destiny issue that you came here to complete these offerings into the world. What do you want to call it? Content, offering, gifts, ideas, and to help others. You have a lot of work to do. You're going to be very busy with this work, and you're also helping humanity change the perception of themselves and also the earth plane. You are having your own awakening, awakening to a fuller part of you, revealing more of your power and your gifts. Aho, thank you very much for being here and connecting with me. Your ancestors, what is any last words? Focus on acknowledging your beauty and your gifts. The beauty is your uniqueness. All right, so light, shine bright. Hello, Radiant Light. Welcome to your reading. It's really wonderful to connect with you. And I'm hearing fire, firefly, fire. Light my fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. I mean, I know that sounds kind of corny, but I am hearing this. There's something definitely lighting you up. And with Aragonite here, you are moving past obstacles. You are opening. Um, some of you are channeling some denser energy that is lightening up. And of course, you've got Firefly here. And look at all that potential. This is what I'm being shown by your ancestors. They want you to focus on what has the most potential right now in your life and to move forward on that. Okay, you've also got vitality. That's the ancestor medicine that you're coming in with or they're giving you. 58, 13, 4. So changes are now possible in your life. Your ancestors want you to know you're going to be able to make the changes that you have been wanting to make. Some of you, this is changes in your body. This is changes in your routine. This is health. This autumn, you've got gold. Yeah, a lot of you have got, look at those colors there. This is kind of similar. So a lot of you are working on the second and third chakra. What have we got here? Is this mariposa? Yeah, butterfly. Okay, this is about opening up. You've got mariposa here, butterfly. Oh, I'm definitely getting uh, Puerto Rico, Costa Rica. I'm getting a Mayan. I'm getting a lot. African Mayan. I'm getting all kinds of ancestors. Um, believe it or not, I get a little Celtic energy also. Um, native energy of First People traditions. Um, I am also getting a lot of you working with the body. Some of you, it could be yoga that you're doing. There's, there's some kind of movement or they want you to move more. There's some kind, something about movement for you. Do you need to move more? This is a time of movement for you. So if you're not moving, get moving. Move the body. It's time for you to move the body more and to be more in your body. So you are a lot of you are channeling a higher vibrational frequency energy that you are releasing into the world. But also you can become... You're getting inspired, they're telling me. You're getting inspired. Your ancestors are saying, we see the inspiration. We see the great ideas. You start on things, but you're stopping. And we're going to give you the vitality, the energy to complete things. You, you, you need more energy. Your ancestors are saying you need to tap into us by the small wing ones. Dragonfly, butterfly, firefly, even a household fly. They said the common fly. If you tap into that energy and do a meditation on that energy or when you see those animal beings or winged ones are saying, connect in with them, the insects. Could even be a moth, but firefly, dragonfly, and butterfly specifically. 
is going to help you lighten up. Um, your ancestors are also saying to be around water, lagoons, rivers, where there are more elementals. Um, some places also in the mountains, but they're also saying the water and air, clear, clean air, water and soil is very beneficial for you. Now, so let me go back. They said the, the lake, the lagoon, and where there's flowers and foliage and water. So you are really tapping into this air realm and, and water earth realm, okay? The firefly gives you energy. It has a lot of energy. We look at that as inspiration or energy to get things done. So even though the firefly brings a lot of fire, it's not lasting as long with you. They are saying that you're going to be having more and more energy, sustained energy. So they want you to follow through on what inspires you. When you get inspired, write it down, write a poem, do a video, call some, have some, do something, especially manifest, put it in some kind of form, and that's going to sustain your energy more. These ancestors that are coming to you want to help you sustain your inspiration more and also the energy within your body. Um, so you, a lot of you are getting exhausted. Some of you, I'm, they're telling me you're burning yourself out. They, okay, your ancestors are also say to be very aware of the cycle that you're in, your, your daily rhythms or biorhythms, the weekly, to follow the cycle of the energy. Some of you are better early morning, morning, or mid-morning. Your cycle is changing. Some of you, this is also for women, to cycle your cycle. There's something about changing your cycle or there's something changing. Um, I'm also being told by your ancestors that what will also help you are certain foods that are more fiery. Now, you're operating into the area of gold, which means you have a lot to share, a lot to give. Um, you, you are gold. This is the time for you to use your resources or release into the world that gold that is you. That's what you've gone from the pewter and the lead, the silver into the gold. So there's something you've cleared in your manifestations, in your creativity, in your soul expression or your creative expression, in your very soul essence. There is something that you have cleared, some impurity or and it's it's they're telling me that it's sustained. In other words, whatever this was impure or off, in, not in alignment, whatever was, I don't know, not working or was, it, it's different for different people. You're going to have to just get this message because they're not telling, they're, like the ego Michelle could say, okay, it could be food, it could be people, whatever, activities. No, your ancestors are saying that you've, you've cleared or cleansed that impurity. So there, there's been something that you have been working on. If you're drawn to this whole story, there's been something that you've been working on for a sustained period of time, and now that is cleared. Whether a behavior, a habit, food, I don't know, it's cleared. And so you've got clearer energy. They want you to know that you have clearer energy. The energy is cleared for what it is that you wanna do or need to do. So there's been a clearing in your energetic field. And that's why you have more life force animating energy, more vitality. So a lot of you, there could be a kundalini opening or a clearing that happened for you. There was something that shifted vibrationally where now you're tapping in more to source energies. And a lot of you can tap into the healing light source energies. You're tapping in more into universal energies or God energy, God consciousness, the energy of the all that is the world. A lot of you, um, your guides are telling me, uh, we're with you, guiding you. So some of you work with a group of guides. You have some guides that are helping you. Okay, that's what I thought. You've been on a healing journey. Um, your ancestors are saying that it is time for you to move on from something or someone. Oh, that's an interesting message. And it's time for you to use your energy more wisely. Use your time more wisely. They said so we're watching you. And we're giving you cues or messages. Um, they're saying that you need to get going or get moving earlier for more sustained energy and complete 
earlier. They want you to change your cycle. They're telling me that you are going to be changing your cycle. Let's see, and this is interesting because I get this for like a moon. So you're going to get a lot of revelations from your guides. I feel like the moon energy somehow is very important. Your guides are coming through now also saying you, some of you work with ascended masters also. That's part of your ancestral lineage also. You have ancestors that are bringing you information that is helpful to earth and humanity at this time. And you're to listen to these messages and also apply them to yourself. Many of you are doing some kind of intuitive and or psychic work or you're very intuitive or you're picking up messages. Your ancestors are saying you need to discern are these messages coming from you, for you or for someone else, or you're also connecting to messages of the collective. And they want you to begin to know the difference between what are your messages and what is part of your destiny and your path or what is someone else's destiny or path or what el what is some the collective's destiny or path because for some of you it's different okay that's why okay wondrous opportunity i'm going to put these out and then i'm going to tune into the message and we've got healing journey Okay. Move that over. Yeah, they're nudging you. And women's wisdom. So you have this wisdom within you. So your ancestors are saying we're opening opportunities, and there are opportunities on the Akashic level that are destiny openings and opportunities for you. And you're going to need the energy and the focus. So they're saying be very mindful of where you put your energy or your attention, what people or what activities. They want you to have more energy. They want you to tap in more to universal light energy. So you can do that through yoga or breath work or Qigong. Work with your body to get the energy going so that you have longer sustained energy. Now, the ancestors are, as you open up to them, they're showing me a meditation of like breathing in through the nose and then as you breathe out, going ha, 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 and releasing. They said you need to get the energy going earlier for more sustained energy. Now, one of the gifts they said that you have is the ability to trans for your energy to others, whether it's insights, information, uh, you know, energy that, that manifests as insights or information or uplifting. You're able to also uplift, but you also have to have people around you that are doing that. They're saying there is somebody particularly in your life that you do have that. Spend more time. Your ancestors are saying spend more time with them. You're going to be sharing more of your wisdom. Some of you are doing something with wisdom. Your ancestors are saying, we're giving you the information, the insight, we're giving you the energy, we're giving you the inspiration, we're giving you the, the great ideas. And you just need to do a small step to tap into that energy and also to keep it going. Okay, I'm going to take a couple more cards. So this is about keeping the energy going. Um, they're also telling me, the ancestors are saying, what was broken will be fixed. Um, and some of you have, are recouping, just as I said that, look at that, you've got recovery or rejuvenation. So some of you are recouping or you're going to rejuvenate, the body is going to, um, oh, okay, all right, your ancestors are saying, yeah, the healing's happening. So there is healing happening. Some of you, it is also on the physical level that your physical body is healing. You're getting stronger and stronger. You're connecting into more the life force animating energy, the universal energy. So you're connecting more into the energy of the earth and the universe. Sound of spirit. Yeah, a lot of you hear spirit. You're getting messages. This is very important. Your ancestors are telling me moon phases. Remember I said about the moon. So you really need to connect into your own moon cycle, moon phases, your own biorhythms, your own individual rhythm. And because they're telling me that you, they speak to you 
through the rhythms, through the energetic rhythms. And if you're off or you're trying to rush or do something in someone else's timing, you're going to miss the opportunities. Some of you feel like you're not doing enough and your ancestors are telling me you are. It's just you're on a different rhythm than some of the people that are around you. You're on a different rhythm than the mainstream world. So you're going to have to try to bridge what you're doing and how you're doing it. Okay, again, moon. So pay attention to the moon. And we have a full moon coming up. Now, even though this is a timeless reading, if you are getting this reading at the time that I am uploading and publishing, pay attention to the full moon and the moon cycles. So again, your ancestors are telling me if you don't follow your rhythm, your timing, you're going to burn out or you're going to block the information, the insights, the direction, the guidance you're receiving. Um, your ancestors are telling me that you are receiving this insight and guidance also through your body, that they communicate through your body. Now, for some of you, this is about knowing when to post. <laughs> That's what they said. Knowing when to talk, knowing when to post, communication, third house. Okay, hold on. I'm getting a message, but I want to get the cards out because... This, your ancestors are very paced, how they get the messages. It's very different than, I think it was soul story number two, immerse, Cancerian energy. Yeah, see, debilitated. See, some of you are healing. You are, they want you to know you are healing. There's something about the frequency. You had a, okay, emotional disruption, emotional exhaustion, some of you. Some of you, there was something that short circuit, there was a short circuit in, the, in your matrix. Oh, and how your matrix comes into the denser physical body, the electrical magnetic. Some of you were too electrical, too having to make it happen, but you had to do that. They're saying you had to do that. Some of you are held back too much. So there's a rebalancing. And we've got transits here. And the Jupiter energy, all about abundance, a cycle of abundance coming in for you. Um, they're Okay, you're, they're telling me that, they want to say this, they're telling me that you may not know this right now, and it might not look in the human eyes to be true, but you are going to have a lot of abundance abundance of health, of energy, of vitality, of money, financial abundance, but it's not coming in the way that you thought or the, or the timing. Um, you, you're, oh, you are breaking conditioning. That's what they're telling me. You're breaking the conditioning that was passed on to you. You're breaking the con societal conditioning. Your ancestors are saying you're breaking patterns. And some of this pattern is how to get ahead, how to be successful, how to get along with people, how to do relation. You're, you're breaking a lot of patterns. Um, and so there could be some resistance in the body because you're starting to move differently and respond differently in your life. And so that does bring in um, a bit of resistance in the body. Um, they're also telling me that you need to move the body more in stress. stress stress the body, strengthen the body, stretch the body. There's something about the body is becoming more strengthened. Your ancestors are saying, dear one, you are whole, perfect and complete. You come out of wholeness. So there, your ancestors are saying, if you meditate on circles or draw circles or spirals, that's a good meditation for you. It's going to bring you into your own soul design, your own soul matrix. It circles, you're very connected to circles on a soul level. You're, the circle or spiral energy of you, um, which is interesting because there's a circle or a sphere, a circle, a circle, a little circle. That's a circle. There's a circle there. There's a circle there, a circle there. So that you're changing. A lot of you think that you're on the same path that you were but you're not. You're discovering new parts of yourself in a new way of being. And you're a recovering. They want you to know that you're recovering what was lost or held back or what had to be released 
to transmute the energy. So some of you are now moving past grief. They're telling me that you're, that you're going to be moving past the grief, the losses that you've had in your life. Some of you, this was a loss of a father. Uh, some of you lost a parent, father, mother, grandfather, a pet. Your ancestors are saying you lost some of you that you're familiar, which is a pet. Look at instinct. Okay, hold on. I'm getting a message about that. I really want to keep this Jupiter card here because that's, this is what, if you trust your instincts, and that's why you've got the moon phases, your instincts come, is through the energy of the body. So how you feel, the gut knowing, you're, you really need to connect into in your destiny. Another soul story got this. This is why I felt I was guided. I've been wanting to do this reading for about a week, week and a half. And I really had to meditate and go within to connect into this frequency. And so this is, well, yes, we're looking at ancestors, but this is also about the Akasha. Because you were at an impasse. A lot of you were stuck or stalled or stagnant because there was a lot of work being done on your vital life energy, your very own energetics of your being. And... A lot of you also the physical body, some changes, some healing in the physical body, getting stronger, getting more stamina. So you are, something's coming around again for you. Your ancestors want you to know that not only do you hold the key within you and that the success comes from you, it's coming from you, through you. There's something that you're carrying on. You know, you're carrying on this, oh, some of you it's a certain role, but to not miss the openings and the opportunities, you have to trust your instincts, your, your body more, your feelings, your intuition. And this is why your energy has been being cleared so that you really are guided instinctually. This is something about recouping your instinctual awareness. You've been recouping the instinctual awareness and your ancestors are saying that this is why there was a, I had moved the table. Um, you're, they're also telling me about an earthquake, okay. They're telling me about now earth changes. There are a lot of earth changes and you're going to have different body changes. Your earth is changing. They say your, your body is part of the earth because you're bringing in more spiritual energy. So you're going to see changes within your body. All right, soul starting number three, you're going to start seeing changes within your body. Some of you, it's how you look, dress. Some of you, it's your physical body is changing somehow. It's being reshaped or reformed. Two of pentacles. Five of cups. Yeah, there's the grief right under grief. Can't plan this. King of cups. Ace of wands. Okay, they want me to go over this, okay? So you've changed. There's a lot of change in your life. There's been a lot of upheaval. Your ancestors are saying you've been clearing grief. Not only your grief, but grief within your family and your family lineage. You've been clearing this energy. You've been clearing patterned, patterning, patterns, conditioning. For many, many, many lifetimes, you've been clearing this. And you're clearing your own family grief. Your family came in with a lot of grief, a lot of sadness, a lot of disappointment. Um, they're saying this is being cleared. And they said, you know what it is, the grief, the betrayal. So you've been in this healing phase and you're coming out of it. You're coming out of this healing phase. It's a very powerful healing phase for you, a very powerful time for you right now. Wow, okay. Any other mess? Okay, I'm getting one. Let's see. Any messages? Your ancestors say focus on something creative or art, more music. They, your ancestors say we love when you write. And some of your ancestors say, oh, you write wonderful poetry. We love when you write. We love music. We love hearing music. We love hearing the music of the babbling brook and of the sea. We love hearing music. We love when you're moving and you're dancing. And this is the spiral of consciousness that you're connecting to, the circle of life. Your ancestors want you to know that your life is about to change and that grief energy is being transmuted. 
So you are moving into a higher vibrational frequency of you. And this higher vibrational frequency of you is bringing in much more art, uh, creative expression, soul expression, self-expression. You're going to feel the need and you're going to want to and you're going to have the energy to create, to design. Some of you it's designing your own life. Some of you it is moving more into a creative field. Okay, let's see any messages through the Astro Dice. Oh, they're telling me to put the aragonite is clearing the knots, the knots of what held you back. Um, if you resonate with aragonite, that can be a good stone for you to um, have in your house with water. They want you to say they want your changes to be done gently. So if you get an aragonite stone, put the aragonite in water or put it near, wa near water, a glass of water. They're, they're cautioning me. They don't want you burning out. Okay. Moon. Yeah, moon, third house. Didn't you get communication? I think you got communication. What was that another? Yeah, third house communication. And Scorpio. We want to talk to you. The moon and Scorpio in the third house. Pay attention to the subtleties, the subtle energy, and we want to communicate to you. We want to communicate. We communicate through cards, readings. We want to communicate to you through music, you'll get messages from us. Also, you're meant to be a communicator. There's something also that's changing in your routine around your house or outside of your house. Something that you're doing in your neighborhood, you're going to meet someone that's very important, an important relationship. Your ancestors are saying, we're guiding you to meet someone that's going to be very important. It's a, a destiny, it's a destiny connection. And it's going to take this some of this grief and move it into love and move it into the love of your creations, doing more of what you love, creating what you love. You're going to be so happy. Okay, that's the message I'm getting for you. All right, Soul Light, let me see a Soul Insights mantra. Let's see another message. Okay, your message is, I trust my instinctual wisdom. Okay. Well, one thing is, another message is coming through. Your body holds the key. They want you to contemplate that. There's something about your body, how your body feels or what it's drawn to holds the key. That's the key to your next level, your next level of soul unfolding, your opening. And it has something to do with instinct, instinctual awareness and trusting your instincts, trusting your body. Be more connected to your body. All right, lots of love in light to you and so much love. Hello, soul light. Welcome to your reading. Welcome here. Well, you are opening to this nugget of insight or information within you. You hold a lot within you for many, many generations, many lifetimes, some of you other dimensionally in either other planetary experiences. You hold a lot within you and you pull on a lot from within you. In other words, some just gut knowing, instinct, perhaps even being in touch with your own guides, your own higher self, your ancestors. There's a lot you pull from within. So you're opening up. You've got the golden egg here, one of my fave cards, um, with the sacred geometry here. There's something you're recreating or redoing from a higher vibrational frequency. You're really, a lot of you are having some kind of heart opening. And it's because there's a lot of wisdom gained in your life experience. There's a lot that you've learned. There's also a lot that you want to pass on. Now, I'm looking at this circle here as source, infinite source. Like It's like a small dot, but as you go deeper inside, it opens and opens and opens and opens up. It gets wider and wider, bigger and bigger. It's infinite. So a lot of you are tapping into the in infinite innate intelligence of the universe. This is moving into God consciousness or the consciousness of the all that is. Your ancestors have done this before. Your ancestors have walked the earth plane 
time of Jesus, biblical time, I feel like you come from a line of ancient teachers, um, mystics, sages. There, You have the ancestors of awakening, the encoding of awakening within you. There, there's something that's encoded within you that's being decoded now. And you're going to have some, a, a golden era, an era, an era of abundance and opening, and you're creating this new era and those that are around you. You do have a strong soul group or soul tribe. Some of you, it is in person where you are on the earth plane. Some of you, it's online. Some of you, it is also your ancestors want you to know that it is in the etheric the etheric plane, your ancestors hold you, hold the memory and the etheric body, and they're giving you the information. So the ancestors want you to acknowledge that you get the information that is deeply held within and that it is coming from infinite source energies. Wow, and you've got the gift of leadership. So a lot of you are going to be moving into some kind of leadership position if you aren't already. A lot of you are leaders already in your own right. You're here to lead, you're here to share, you're here to teach, you're here to mentor, you're, you're here to coach, you're here to guide. Now, some of, and again, please, you know your own situation. It's, this happens in different ways, whether it's with your own family, your own children, in a corporation, wherever you work, you have this ancestral lineage. Now, a strong group I am connecting with here, the ancestors are saying it's time to move more into the leadership role that you've been held back a bit or your leadership is, is your ancestors are saying what you have learned in earth form and other dimensionally is now about to come together for you to release into the world to share you're going to be your your group is expanding your reach is expanding your ancestors are saying it is time for the expansion and look at sun splendor Splendor Solis, the sun. So this is all about your creative self-expression, you expanding in the world, and you're going to recognize what your gifts are. Now, this group, ancestor group, I'm hearing there are many gifts. Some of you have the same gifts. Some of you have different gifts. But you're here to birth something new in the world and to use your gifts to help humanity. Now, you've got coca here. Uh, mambe, coca, mambe. Communication of clear ideas, deep conversation with oneself. Oh, deep conversation with spirits of nature and with the ancestors. And I just channel that from the ancestors. They said they're working with you. So this card is a confirmation. Not that you needed one, but it's fun. So let me see here. Coca. Coca is transformative. It's also sacred. So there's something very sacred about how you live. The ancestors want you to spend more time with them and doing ritual before you do things in the outer world. They want you to come back to them. They want you to nurture. They want. It's almost like I'm getting this communing. Um, they're showing me. Wow, I'm getting all kinds of images with them. You have um, a strong lineage. Um, your ancestors say your lineage is very diverse. You're blending a lot of diverse ideas and understanding of what spirit is, of what our spiritual nature is. And you've come in with very specific gifts. And some of you have a very specific gift. You're going to be given that gift of leadership, of moving out more in the world. You are. They're telling me, your ancestors are saying that it's okay to expand, that you want this expansion, and we're in agreement with it. We're in agreement with your expansion, and we want to help you to expand. This came out. Retrograde. Review. Okay, hold on. Let me get cards out as I tune in. What do they most need to know? Okay. The ninth house exploration. A lot of you are spiritual teachers, alliance. Let me just get the cards out and then tune back in a tune. This this your ancestors, there's a there's a, a fiery energy, but there's a lot of patience. Passion. Shine. 
cultivate. And we'll do one more. Okay. 11th house community. All right. So light. So, and you've got future. So their, their ancestors want me to talk about this, the North Node that it's time for you to focus on your future and the future of the planet. They want you to prepare more for your future or to create the future that you want to experience now. Um, your ancestors are saying there's a lot you've cleaned up in your life and in the ancestral timeline. There's a lot you've cleaned up. There's a lot you've cleared. There is now more open space for you to do what it is that you want to do, to move more into the heart space. They a heart space of what brings you fulfillment. So there, your ancestors are saying this time is for you. Okay. So your ancestors are telling me that a lot of you are going to be connecting with other people and collaborating. You're going to be moving into a very creative time, a highly creative time. They said, this is what the yellow, they want me to go back to the golden egg. They're telling me that this yellow of the golden egg here has a lot to do with the mental realm. You're going to be getting a lot of insight and ideas that are opportunities for you to thrive, Taurus, to cultivate. Now, your ancestors are telling me we've been cultivating you. We've been shaping you. We've been tuning you out from certain vibrational frequencies, certain people, certain situations, certain things on media, television, things in the world. And you have been receiving a higher vibrational frequency of information and insight, then you're going to be putting this higher vibrational frequency information and insight into some kind of creative form into something. You're going to be forming. Um, your ancestors are saying you're putting these ideas into form. Books, talks, working with music and sound sharing so that this vibrational frequency can go out into the masses. So you're working with a different vibrational frequency that is not for some not yet on the planet or not sustained on the planet. You're bringing in a new vibrational frequency. They wanted you to review your life. Your ancestors are saying, if you haven't done that, please do that after this reading. Review your life, your life situation, your life purpose, and see where you want to improve or what you want to improve, and we will help you. Your ancestors are saying that you were held back or stopped for a period of time because you were, your essence was being refined so that the body vehicle could cultivate, it could handle the higher vibrational frequency. So you're going to see an up level in your energy, an upswing in things in your life. There are things up leveling. You're going to have more connection, more people. Your ancestors are saying there is going to be more people noticing you and what you do. You're really going to be drawing out people to you. They're gonna be drawn to you because you are a leader not always by what you say, but by what you do and how you live your life. You are broadcasting a different vibrational frequency and this different vibrational frequency is opening a new portal. And this portal has to do planetarily with the planet, it has to do with Sirius, the Pleiadian energy that is coming through you. You are also coming through the magenta ray. Some of you, the blue ray, the indigo blue ray and others of you are accessing energy and opening to the portal of the magenta ray which the magenta ray opens up into groups of soulmates soulmated groups attracting the soulmate groups for to connect with vibrationally and for the earth projects it starts setting up your community and that magenta ray is working more with group consciousness and group awareness. So you're going to be working more and more with groups and reaching a larger group of people. Um, this is the time for you really to shine and to put your energy and your focus out into the world, out beyond where you are now. You're also, many of you are going to be traveling. Your ancestors are saying, we're taking you out of this environment. You're going to be exploring more exploring different people, different cultures, 
and your ancestors are saying people are going to be very drawn to you and you're going to be able to handle it it's going to be okay people are going to really connect you to the sun they're going to see your light and your light holds the information you hold the codes wow i didn't know this was coming okay you hold the codes there's specific codes that you hold in this vibrational frequency that you're here to help humanity through this coding you're going to start coding there's an encoding that's taking place um, they're saying look out for people that are going to start reaching out to you to connect to, to create to collaborate to come together there your ancestors are telling me that you are part of the um, guiding you're guiding Okay, you've got the ghost. Yeah, you're cleansing. You're clearing up. Okay, your ancestors are telling me a lot of you work with an energy. It could be vulture medicine um, that you clean up. You clean things up energetically. You clean up the lower vibrational energy or what we might say on the earth plane, the negative energy, the less life enhancing energy. So a lot of you, your ancestors are saying that's why in the past you had a lot of emotional vampires or energy vampires. Um, you had this dynamic because you were cleansing and clearing that, even the family you came from. So you've been cleansing and clearing a lot. And their ancestors say, well, we help you. It funnels through your energetic system. And we clear it and cleanse it on the etheric plane. And then it goes back into the denser uh, plane of manifestation and manifested form on the earth plane. Dream signs. And the void, yeah, your energy is coming from the void, the potential, the opening, the possibility. Source energies, again, this group, you're coming from this infinite consciousness, the infinite innate consciousness of the universe and the infinite innate intelligence that is an awareness that comes from this consciousness. So you are here on the earth plane helping to open a new portal. You're opening a new portal by what you're doing. By your very own frequency, your resonance frequency, the coherence of the harmonization of your heart and being that's coming together. So you, a lot of you also are going to be having some kind of heart opening is what I'm hearing. There's some kind of heart opening or opening to more fulfillment. A lot of you, there's going to be more passion, more energy. You're connecting to a bigger purpose. There's a lot opening for you also I'm being shown uh, by your ancestors with meeting uh, more kindred spirits. You're going to be meeting people that are more in alignment with the magental realm. Now I do know about the magental realm because not very many people incarnate from that. Uh, they're starting to now, but so I do. That's why it's probably coming through me. Yeah. You're looking for your group, your your community. You're, you're, some of you are moving into multiple communities or a different community. Um, your, okay, your ancestors want you to know that we're going to help you. And there is a new guide for some of you that is coming through or that is going to come through uh, for you. Yeah, you're working. Look at this mysticism. card confusion okay they don't want you to be confused about your path some of you there was some kind of rejection from some friends or people or colleagues or they didn't follow through and you started kind of moving vanity that you weren't that you were taking it personally and it's just they're not ready they're at a certain vibrational frequency but they're not they're not at your they're not at this. It's not enough. They have some. They have some learning to go. Now they want you to know that. Okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, they're saying. Okay, your ancestors are saying with great gifts comes great responsibility. They want you to feel proud of what you do, but they said you're going to have to. And they said one of the things they were cultivating with you was over vanity or pride they want you to be proud look at this with leo they want you to be proud of what you do and what you know and what you're here to do and the advanced levels that you're coming in at however they don't want you to lose touch with humanity they don't want you to isolate they don't want that that you being proud in your gifts and how you're helping humanity 
they said you're going to have to have compassion don't your ancestors don't get haughty don't get too vain about what you do that because one of them saying you have your own stuff you have your own stuff but you are at a different level and so it's sometimes hard for you to connect with people because you see different things um you're coming from a space of enlightenment and you're helping to enlighten others to recognize to help others recognize that they are enlightened they are light so you're also going to be getting a different group to work with those of you that work with people uh, guide help people um, you're getting a different, you're up leveling, or the people that you're working with are also up leveling. So you're getting quite a, um, okay, you're a, quite a up leveling yourself. And your guides are saying, look, the knowledge you have within you, it's going to grow corn. It's going to bring abundance. You're going to have the money. You're going to have the resources. You're going to have the people. You're going to have the connections. I am being shown some of you are so starved for connection, true connection, and that is coming. You're recovering this was lost, taken from you. It's been a very, um, your guides are telling me and the ancestors are telling me, okay, hold on, the guides are coming through. We know it's been solitary. Um, okay, the ancestors want you to, look at this on the bottom, look at that, the hierophant, the teacher, the guide, an ace of pentacles. Um, your ancestors want you to know that you're going to be receiving a gift, some kind of gift of um, popularity, becoming more popular to help more people. This is going to bring increase financially. There's something that you're birthing. Then you've got the hierophant there. And then you've also got the emperor. So I'm hearing Aries Taurus time. So even though this is a timeless reading, if you um, watch it right after I up upload it and it publishes, then there's a gift for you from the ancestors, God, universe. They said for all of us, they said you are a speaker to humanity of a higher vibrational frequency. You're channeling something, your higher self or some kind of wisdom. Um, I'm hearing from your ancestors that you come from a long lineage of wisdom keepers, of sages, of orators, of communicators, of scribes. So you're here to document what is happening on the earth plane, the awakening that is taking place on the earth plane. You got the queen here of pentacles, and there it is, the high priestess, the channel. So whether through your art, your music, whatever you're putting out there in the world, how you do, you're here to help humanity. Now, I think it was soul story number one that go, got both the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So look for changes in the fall, winter time and the next few days to the next two months. Um, there's some new information or insight that you're going to get. I feel like there could be something even for those of you that are doing something more public or online. There could be something that really takes off or becomes more viral um, because you're meant to have abundance. You're meant to have prosperity. Your ancestors are saying you come from a regal background. You come from a lineage that was right up there with the king and queens. Your ancestral lineage had to do with this ancient knowledge and wisdom and the wisdom of the seer, the wisdom um, of the occult or alchemist. And so the families, the nations, the tribes, the kings, the queens, they, they sought you. The people within the government, they sought your information, they sought your insights, they, they sought you as an oracle. Uh, some of you an orator, a scribe, um, you've been documenting what's going on. They want you to write, to journal, to voice note. They want you to document. They want you to open up to, to allow the insight to come in. Now you're going to have a shift in the next couple months where the way that you work or what you do is changing. And also there's going to be a perception change. What you see and how you view the world is changing. So there's a perception change. Your ancestors are saying there's a perception change. Your ancestors are also saying, do not reject others or reject others before they reject you. You have to understand not everybody is at the heightened frequency that you're at. 
but they have other gifts that they're giving you. Some of you that you are paired with people that are more earthbound or more material or materialistic. You're coming more from the upper chakras and upper dimensions. You're coming from other planetary and other dimensional expressions, experience, and even life forms. But you also need to understand the earth plane more. So you're going to be understanding that's what this emperor in higher fit, you're going to be understanding the earth plane more. That's also the queen of pentacles. So as you understand the earth plane more, then you're able to anchor and stabilize the, the energy, the higher vibrational frequency source energies. You're able to anchor it within the world, within the, the earth. The earth is opening up to these frequencies. Now these frequencies are within the earth. They're in within middle earth, but they need to be activated. And there are people on the planet that are activating these energies and you are one of these people. Okay, I hope that's good. So you a lot with some of you, um, your ancestors are saying you're creating a business or a way of doing business around this, around your insight and your understanding. All right, let's see if there's any other message through the Astro Dice for this group. I'm just feeling my crown chakra is just tingling, just on fire. All right, Sun. Virgo. Oh, no wonder. Pleiadian in the first house. All right, the Sun in Virgo in the first house, you're here to serve. Whatever you're doing, whatever capacity that your ancestors want you to know that you're here to serve, there's a very strong connection to the Taurus constellation, uh, Pleiadian, Sirius, and uh, Syrian, Lyran, uh, the constellation of Orion also, but a very strong connection to the uh, to Pleiades, the Pleiadians and the Pleiades, and also Syrian. You might have been confused where you came from. Um, I also heard Arcanon. Some of you have come from a place that is even beyond that, that has not yet been discovered. Some of you are your, your, your future, your way in the future. This present you, your origins are in the future. So a lot of you are meeting your future. You're meeting you, the true you and the essence of you, as Earth evolves into the future and as things unfold into the future. All right, so like, let me see if there's a last message, which I'm going to call Soul Insights Mantra. Any last message from the ancestors? Ooh, wow. For you, I am comfortable and confident in my future self living out this present or present reality. I am comfortable and confident in my future self living out this present time reality. You're from the future, soul story number four. That's why you feel confused a lot and rejected. A lot of your energy is the future. It's from the future. Wow. All right. Thank you for the honor of tuning in for you. I wish you so much comfort, peace, love, and abundance.